Let's use the definition of the derivative to find the derivative of y equals x squared minus 2x plus 3. Well, what this function is telling us to do is take our stuff, square it, minus 2 times stuff, and then plus 3. So, here we have the limit as h approaches 0. We're going to plug x plus h, this stuff, into our function. What it tells us to do is take our stuff, x plus h, square it, subtract 2 times our stuff, x plus h, and then add 3. Minus f of x, well f of x is just x squared minus 2x plus 3, and this is all over h. First, let's square out the x plus h squared. So here we have the limit as h approaches 0 of x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. Let's distribute the negative 2 minus 2x minus 2h and then plus 3. And we'll distribute this negative to everything inside of our function. Here we have minus x squared plus 2x minus 3. And this is all over h. Well, here we can start canceling things out. Uh, we got x squared, negative x squared, negative 2x, positive 2x, 3, negative 3, and now we're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 2hx plus h squared minus 2h all over h. From the top, we can factor out an h. So here we have the limit as h approaches 0 of h times 2x plus h minus 2 all over h. And once again, our h's cancel out. And then we can plug 0 into h. And what we get is that the derivative of y with respect to x, dy dx, is equal to 2x minus 2. What this means is this is the function that represents the slope of any tangent line at any x value of the function x squared minus 2x plus 3. So for example if you had been asked what is the slope of the tangent line at x equals 5 for example, well you just plug 5 into dy dx, into the derivative. And you would get 2 times 5 is 10, minus 2, that would be 8. So our derivative at x equals 5 is equal to 8. And therefore, the slope of the tangent line at x equals 5 is equal to 8.